As a circus performer, you're not usually making much money. <laughs> so, my day starts at about 7 o'clock in the morning. I get up, I go to the first job, <laughs> then the second job. It's, it's like this thing, this little story that we have in our head that we're going to wake up in the morning, like eating our hard-boiled eggs after we juggle 12 of them, and you know, and spinning plates and passing the ketchup by throwing it across the room. And th that magic is there, uh, but it's also based on a very harsh reality of training and travel and, you know, stress. It's a lot harder than it looks. When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be so easy, especially because I was a dancer. And then I actually got up there to try to do it, and it was it was shameful. It gets easier the more and more you do it. It just kind of becomes second nature. I'm Brendan. I'm the juggler. The trick is to practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And it is quite hard, and there's some tricks that are quite frustrating. But there's a breaking point where, after a while, your muscles learn the moves, and you just do it automatically. It becomes like walking. My circus school, I designed it in a way that I, as a single parent and as an adult, would like to have a school. There's no registration fees, there's no signing up for class. If you want to come, we have a schedule of classes that's online, um, it's $15 a class. We do half an hour of conditioning training, and then we play around and do some exercises on the silks, but it's mostly just, I want to push fitness in a new fun way. We start at age seven and go up to 70. I have a Buddhist monk that comes in in, in her 70s and takes the classes. We have hand balancers, jugglers, trapeze artists. We have some people that balance other people on their head. This is the aerial silk or chiffon or tissue. Everybody kind of calls it something different. I usually call it silks. This is the cube. It's basically metal wrapped in tape. So I don't use it because it hurts. I've been training about two years on and off, but more seriously about a year. Everyone works really hard, and, but I also think that it's really fun people. It's people who, who aren't afraid of hard work, but also who aren't afraid of putting on a costume and being really silly. I love the costumes, I love the wigs, I love the feathers, I love the sequins. A lot of these costumes came fresh out of my closet. What's not to love about this? What's, what's not to love? It, it's fabulous. Hello? Fabulous. I always wanted to be, you know, share, I think. You put some spandex on them, you put some glitter in their hair and some wild makeup on, and it's not them anymore. Now they are a circus star. In this day and age, with people who sit eight hours a day and then sit another two hours to commute, that don't understand their bodies and don't really have any connection to them, our job is to bring back that magic. And I can't tell you how many people have said, wow, thank you so much. You changed my perspective of what human beings can do. It's, it's fun. It's just pure fun.